winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to MAFM V2 and more fertilizer spreading. Today, we're going to spread field 10 here. We're going to spread this entire thing. Same as last video. Uh, spread the entire field in one video, so uh, Just freehanding these headlands here for now and then Mainly this one since it's so curved I uh, filled this thing up with fuel filled it full of fertilizer. It actually took all but like 200 liters of what was left in the truck to fill this so that was pretty close which was kind of nice um, that it actually did fully make it and then the filled the truck up with fuel and it is currently refilling with fertilizer right now it might actually be done I'm not positive anyhow we're gonna get turned around here we're gonna set GPS up we're gonna flip that 90 degrees slide it to the edge there Alright, so we can shut these off quick. So now we're spreading the. Let's see, we did corn, or sorghum, sunflowers, and. I gotta look here now. What do we do? So this is sorghum. Sorghum, oats, and sunflowers. So we're spreading the oat field right now we did the sorghum field in the last video and then we'll do the sunflower video or the sunflower field in the next video so we'll be all set yeah, I'm just gonna flip around here not worried about getting every bit of that corner there although I did get most of it so that's I guess good Alright, so now we're all lined up, we're all squared off, let's get to work. We're going to make some short work of this field, I hope. The thing that I'm hoping to get the most uh, new equipment wise is a bigger cultivator uh, and a bigger corn planter. Um, you know, the cultivator we only need for the corn, for the ground that will put like corn, soybeans, and sorghum on. You know, and then we have the air seeder that we bought a couple of videos ago. So, uh, any ground that we plant in any other crop besides. Um, you know, the row, the, I don't know, I guess wheat and whatnot is a row crop as well, but, you know, you guys know what I mean, at least I would assume, but anything that we plant with the air seeder, we don't need to cultivate first, and we plant with the corn planter, that we'll have to cultivate first, but everything else should work just fine uh, yet yeah, maybe get a bigger you know another tractor uh, get a little bit bigger one and maybe get rid of the 
well, no, we can keep this tractor for like mixer or something. But get another tractor as well. And then maybe another trailer. Another hopper trailer. Maybe get like the other part of the Merit that we bought. We can get the the lead section of it. Alright, so this is full. I'm not trying to dump the fertilizer there, I'm just driving under it. So get this refilled. I don't know how much fuel is left in our fuel tank. I would have to hook it up to the pickup to know. But I'm assuming that fuel tank is starting to get empty. I mean, we've refilled we've refilled that tractor like three times out of it. We've refilled this truck almost completely. We've put some into this truck as well. Uh, we've refilled I mean we've refilled a lot of stuff before. So I mean it's gotta be getting down there. I can't remember if I refilled the tank once or not because if I refilled the tank then of course it's you know it wouldn't have it wouldn't be as low as I would expect but still I, that thing's got to be running low got to be getting low pretty soon Got all kinds of buttons I gotta hit at the end of a pass here. Mainly just on this side. On the other side, I kinda gotta hurry up and hit them too, but I don't need to rush as fast as I do on this side. And on this side, I don't have to slow down because I can turn a little wider and line myself up better than I can at the other end. So that also helps quite a bit, actually. We're knocking this field out pretty quick, too. That field shouldn't take long either. It'll take longer than this field, obviously, because it's bigger, but it shouldn't take quite as long as that field. It'll be like in between however long it takes for this field and however long it took for that field. <laughs> okay, so... Turn it off, turn, slow down. It's like you gotta do three different buttons all within like a couple of seconds of each other. If you don't, then you're going to hit the fence, or you're going to waste some fertilizer, or something's going to happen. Or you could uh, end up going boom, just back and forth on GPS once you line, you know, activate it and whatever. Because it's trying to line up, but it's driving too fast. Which gets annoying so then you just gotta slow down maybe you can line yourself up like I can on turning down here you can line yourself up pretty well then it's not bad but if you don't get it lined up it's a pain because it just sits in back and forth and back and forth until finally it gets straight So we got, I'll say two full passes, or like full, well, we got two passes and then this half is done, and then this other half is smaller, so. We're getting close to done, we'll probably have to 
take whatever fertilizer is in that trailer and then so what between what's in the spreader right now and what's in the pickup we should be all right we should be able to finish spreading this field with what we got left because with what we got in the spreader right now that'll last us till we get to that end and it should almost last all the way back over there if it you know if it doesn't last all the way over it'll be pretty close as we used four percent five percent so if we can like be above ten percent when we hit this end we'll be all set to make it all the way to the other end or if we can be at ten percent or something um, it'll be pretty close yeah we used eleven percent Alright, so now we're done with that side. So we just got that little section left. And we're all done. Two, one. And stop. So hopefully, whatever's left in this thing will be enough to spread the rest of the field. Uh, once we empty this, we're, I will, you know, we can run it over to the farm and get it refilling so that way it's full for in case we do need it again on this field or for the next field, which will be in next week's video. So next week, in exactly one week, we'll start harvest. One week from when you're seeing this video anyways. It's actually like two weeks and two days for when you guys see the harvest video so we'll probably start off combining the uh, sorghum and then we'll move on you know we'll just kind of start down there and move over well actually no we'll start with this field since this is what we need the draper for and then um We'll, yeah, we'll combine these oats, and we're, of course, going to drop the straw. And then, uh, that way we can go back and bale it later on. And then, uh... Yeah, then, then we can go back and bale it after harvest is finished, and we'll have some extra straw. But then we'll... Then after this field, we can hook on to the corn head and combine our sorghum and sunflowers so I'm going to say we got probably four or five more passes left on this field because it's just beyond that kind of little line there that uh, the other pass is at so we're under two hundred thousand dollars now. It's only by a hundred and fourteen dollars, but we still got a few more loads of fertilizer to buy yet, and then of course fuel to buy, I'm sure. So still got some purchases to make, I'm sure, until we uh, have all of our grain sold. Hopefully we'll make a lot of money. Yeah, so probably two more passes left, I'll say. But as I was saying, hopefully we'll make a lot of money after harvest to be able to buy the the cultivator, another tractor, and then the corn planter. And you know, actually what we could do is we could trade in, we could sell the Puma. Well, no because we better keep that one. We could sell the International. Or no, we did that. We did sell that. That's right. I forgot that we sold that a few videos ago. And we sold that and then all the Cedars as well. 
all of those John Deere's so yeah we better well depending on what tractor we buy we will probably end up keeping the Puma so that way it can run the rake and the baler and forage wagon but if it's if it's a yeah we definitely have to keep this tractor around for the mower too another a new mower would be nice too so a mower a cultivator a corn planter and tractor that would all be some nice nice additions to the fleet to buy after harvest all right we're on our last pass here just enough fertilizer to do it so then we'll just take this guy to the yard and refill it from the fertilizer in the yard I guess and then this will be full and the tender will be full for the next video which I can mark down that Tuesday is recorded and Saturday is recorded uh, just down to two more videos which I'm going to save for a different day because <laughs> today's Thursday so I'll save them for tomorrow for Friday to record or one of them or something or maybe I'll do them both today I don't know so we can shut GPS off So two fields down, one field to go. Uh, do we have any stats going for these animals yet? I actually don't need to look there. Alright, our productivity is up, which is good. And here's how we're going to do this. We're just going to pull under like that. Go like this. We're going to go B, and we're going to go R. Just like that. <laughs> so we got 200 liters of manure or of milk we got 4,444 liters of manure 5,555 liters of slurry uh, they've still got 37 3,733 liters of straw 6,177 liters of grass 6,833 liters of silage and 6,233 liters of TMR yet so they're still doing pretty good on everything So we're uh, we're still pretty well set with the cows. Now that the productivity is up as well, that'll also help. And then once like once we fast forward time to grow the crops, the it'll, it'll really go up then. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications. Be sure. Ugh. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs as well as my upload schedule and some links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.